Um, Can you tell me what you're protesting about today? Um, well, I'm protesting over um, some issues at College of Northwest London. Um, just in principle, the, the government is, um, t has taken a negative position over education and has decided not to invest in it and are rather doing major cuts, which is affecting, I believe, the whole of London and many colleges. How is it affecting uh, College of North West London? Yeah, particularly? College of North West London. We have already um, felt those effects very dramatically, without any warning to the students. Um, we really—it seems like it's almost been done under cover to completely um, put us at risk. I'm when the, it was all sort of being rumoured around in the college. There, um, I felt, well, I wasn't too sure what's going on, and I'll be honest with you, I still don't quite know, know what's going on. So what I did was, with another student, we decided to email the student union. I went to the student union office, I went twice, and I couldn't see anybody. So in order to just get clarity on what was happening, because already I'd noticed the technicians had left, we needed those technicians to be able to make sure uh, the, you know, our courses are run properly, they helped with cleaning and they helped with preparation and helped the sort of workflow because of the actual physical work that we do, a lot of the construction courses that we do. So I noticed that the teachers were cleaning, teachers were cleaning up and teachers were, their time was being spent up and there was a, a change in both the duties teachers were doing and uh, and it was visibly visibly recognizable that there was a chain and, and then it was just like the technicians that you who help you get your tools help you identify tools and they're part of the process of learning as well the technicians because they have invaluable knowledge as well they were gone um, and they kept um, um, you know there was no answers really given there seemed to be an atmosphere of fear when you asked why weren't they there so I noticed that both in my wel uh, welding class and uh, both in my construction and my brick class and with the welding is essential, with the brick it was essential because the metals are prepared by the technicians, they have invaluable knowledge because many of them have been here for decades. So when you ask them, they nearly know so much as, as teachers, so the, te the technicians as well weren't available for you to ask questions because the teachers are so busy with the students as well so suddenly you're robbed of that knowledge that the technicians had as well um, so already there was that impact so at that point I thought well why don't I ask the student union I don't know what's next because if you've removed the technicians is there a risk the teachers could go so I then with another student we prepared an email to um, the student union since I couldn't find them when I emailed um, I took a very sort of a diplomatic position of just simply requesting information as to what is happening at the college. If there were cuts, what were those cuts? And could we have that information? And if there is a situation where the cuts are going to be taking place, is it possible, uh, is, is there already or were they in preparation of a petition? for us to sign and could we sign it and if there wasn't a petition could there any chance maybe this it would be best if the student union could organize a petition that we could just sign so I think it's been almost two months now I've had no response at all and also it was being rumored um, the person who did it was also a mature uh, student here with me and I was amazed that he was you know still you know studying and enjoying his studies at his age and we were concerned about another room in the two of us because I'm a, a mature student technically I'm 42 that um, he had that the courses that were going to be taking place from the September were near were going to be more geared to a government strategy of funding towards entrepreneurs for 16 to 18 year olds and there was a risk that those mature students are being ousted out of education. So me and the, the other mature student who prepared that email, we also were making that request because we had those concerns that um, we were no longer going to get an equal opportunity um, to education or continued professional development. Um, so we had cause for concern and, and again, there was no response. 
what has also concerned me that there seemed to be no presence of or action taken by the unions as well because eventually from technicians losing the job next thing I knew is that teachers were losing their jobs teachers that have been here for decades my own teacher that was teaching me um, steel and fabrication even though this sound like the government has used uh, also uh, what I feel is a very sly approach to both bully people out they've, they've I mean it's been mentioned even today to me again it was all about contracts but I believe that this was just a strategy the intent is the same which was to, to cut out those teachers regardless of whether it was a contractual issue whatever the intent was to destroy uh, uh, the education system and undermine it in order for um, the, the, us to not have the same opportunities what would you like uh, how would you like people to support you in the community well I'm just in principle standing here today I think that the student union need to respond to that email I think people need to be made aware people are not aware they're enrolling today and some of these teachers are not going to be there teachers are here today and it's actually their last day here today so that's a little bit deceptive a little bit fraudulent as well however some teachers uh, those teachers need to be uh, there needs to be a demand for teachers to be reinstated um, all the other supportive staff such as in the libraries etc um, who are under threat, it sounds like everybody's job has been under threat. Um, there needs to be a, uh, people need to take action now to either reinstate the teachers that have already gone, and they said there was about 150 staff cuts have gone, and more expected September. So action has got to be taken to, 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 to make it known that it was unacceptable those teachers have gone and unacceptable that more teachers should go. If they've got away with getting rid of the other teachers so quietly and undermine, in an undermined manner, they're gonna do it again. And because they got away with that, people have got to voice. If they don't speak up, it's going to be too late. It's too late now for those other teachers, it's, but necessarily we should take action to get them reinstated. It's too late for the technicians, but still take action to get them reinstated or review. And uh, um, that's what I feel that we need community groups need to stand up for this college and the next thing if we allow the, the government to continue to take education cuts they will close down this college they've attempted with other building and they'll attempt it with this because they've got away with it so far thank you very much okay. because what happened with my work it affected my exam work because the technician wasn't there to cut the metals yeah, and yeah. the materials. So I spent half my time digging up the metal and the steel yeah. rather than having it to weld because it was yeah. my technician. All oh, that prep I, time was... Yeah, I was yeah. doing the technician's job yeah, yeah. rather than actually welding. And that affected the quality of my weld. But maybe I don't have to mention it because maybe I'll get them into trouble still. But 